So, I got a comment from Gary H. that, um, what's my opinion on CDs from a bank? And especially with the I-bond rate of whatever it is now, um, 3.4% plus the, uh, nine-tenths of a percent, um, fixed on that. And, I don't know, I really haven't had, um, I haven't set up my own bank CDs at all. I know my parents did one for me when I was a kid and stuff, and I've kind of looked into it a bit. But, my only complaints with them, at least, are mainly, like, twofold, um, from what I know, at least. Um, make sure it's not callable that they can't just say, hey, we're not doing this anymore, here's your money back. Um, there are callable CDs that are usually in the longer length, from what I could tell. So, I much prefer treasuries, but not yet, I guess, as far as like a 10 year or 30 year treasury, if that ever gets to, um, 5%, I'm gonna buy some, and if it gets to 7% or more, I'm just about all in on treasuries. But until that happens, kind of holding off on that whole part. Um, other than that, I do like it. I like the CD ladder, or a treasury ladder, either way. Um, what would I like to see, though? I mean, paying 5%, um, that's pretty good, I think. I think that is right in the peaks a lot of interest of people. Because last 10, 12 years, uh, as far as I know, they've been hovering around more of the 2 to 3% range, probably 2 um, and I know my, uh, I was looking at my bank in particular, as far as I could tell, they were, they're only paying, um, 1.1%, and that's if you're doing a, um, more than 60 month, and putting in something like $100,000, so it's terrible, it's just terrible, at least with my local bank god awful they do have a special rate cd that's 13 month that pays four and a half percent but i don't know i mean it's kind of nice to make that kind of money for one year but i really want to um lock in some high rates for that 10 or 30 year thing i'm kind of hoping for a 1980s I think we peaked at the 30-year um, and 10-year. Um, they peaked at like 15 point something percent, which is just insane that you could just lock that money up and you're just good to make those kind of returns for the next 30 years of your life. Are you kidding me? Um, also, the thing that I should throw in there is that it's... Uh, state tax, state and local tax free on treasuries. Whereas depending on which state you're in, you will have to pay taxes on that. And the taxes are not deferred as in like you can't pay them when you cash out the CD. You have to pay them every single year. And that's also a pretty big drawback of CDs at least. But they can be, I guess, easier to set up in, to some extent. I don't know, take my parents, for example. They will not do treasuries. They just don't know how. They won't do bonds. They are just, they are CD people. That is what they're doing. They're doing savings account and 
CDs from the local bank and they're not going to change their bank. They're not going to shop around. They are going to also get a loan from that same bank. They're not going to shop around for a loan. They have got every car, home, loan that they've gotten, same bank. They are just customers for life. It does not matter. They don't care. That's what they know and that's what they're going to do. So they can, the bank can charge people less interest in that particular one if you're talking about more of the um, not local banks more of the whatever it is like JP Morgan's and stuff like that where they're actually uh, in competition <laughs> they will charge the good rates you will get the four and a half five percent from them but if you're going through your local bank you're not gonna get a good rate from what I've seen at least from my 1.1% at best. And even I've seen, depending on the terms, uh, I think they were going low as four tenths of a percent. So it, it's just insane that they could get away with that, so to speak, in this um, environment and people will do it. So I don't like it for that reason. But as far as like a 5% non-callable CD that you could lock up for like 10 years, I love that. I think that is right on the, the cusp of where I would be very interested to put some money into that. Again, 5% for me at least is the start at the good area 7% is just I'm for me that is my goal is to make 7% a year I think that is a good maintainable stable reasonable goal um, just for instance the only thing I can think of off the top of my head that has done something similar to that in like the stock market and I'm sure there's a ton of examples but um, the S&P 500 for one I think in the last like 40 50 years if you average it out it's something like a nine and a half percent before the crash we had here it was like ten and a half percent over like 40 50 60 years whatever it is um, there's a couple of stock tickers I can think of that have done like 10%, 10.5% over like 20 years is the average return. Um, you can go on like drip calculator and plug in a bunch of ticker symbols and um, date ranges and it'll show you like the annualized return and then the annualized return with dividends invest reinvested and not reinvested just to get an idea of like what is possible and again like they'll always say like past does not mean the future kind of stuff past results do not indicate future gains but still it's something to look at but yeah I do think um, you should have some small percentage depending on how young you are into bonds and like really brokered CDs if you don't want to do bonds but for me personally I'm going the treasury route and of course I'm going I bonds I bonds all the way right now and I already bought mine at the beginning of the year maybe I should have held off and got them now so I only have a four tenths of a percent fixed and I could have got a nine tenths of a percent but would have been gaining interest for those six months. Um, who knows what the next one will hold and um, whenever it is November when the rate we'll see whatever the new rate is.
So, just have to wait for that and see if next year maybe they'll have more than 1% of a fixed rate. That'd be pretty sweet and jump all over that.